Do you like popcorn? Well, take a look at this dilemma. Jamie loves popcorn, and she has figured out that the local movie theater has a really great deal on popcorn. She has figured out that there's a flat fee of $4.50 for one bucket of popcorn. But you can refill that bucket of popcorn as many times as you'd like and never be charged another dime. Jamie wants to represent this information in a graph. How would she do this? First, let's write down what we know. We know that it's $4.50 for popcorn and that the buckets are unlimited. So if X were to represent the number of buckets a person could eat, let's put number of buckets there, then Y would represent the cost. So what doesn't change? The cost doesn't change. So if a person eats one bucket of popcorn, it's $4.50. But if a person eats 10 buckets of popcorn, it's still $4.50. How could we graph this on the coordinate grid? All right, well, let's take a look. Here's a coordinate grid. Remember, the x value represents the number of buckets. I'm going to put number there. And the y value represents the cost. So let's go up 450. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 50 would be here, about halfway between 4 and 5. And if we ate one bucket, it's 450. But if we ate two buckets, it's 450. No matter how many buckets a person were to order, it still costs $4.50. Huh. Notice that when we graph this, it forms a horizontal line. When the y value is unchangeable or unchanged, but the x value changes, you will have a horizontal line. When would you have a vertical line? Let's say the x value didn't change. Let's say that our x value was always going to be 2, but our y value would change. So if our x value was 2, it would stay here. Then the y value would change. It would go up and up and up and up and up and up and up then we would have a vertical line. All right, let's review this information. If we have a y value that stays the same, I'm going to write y value same, we have a horizontal line. Let's write hors there, line. If we have an x value that stays the same, then we have a vertical line. Using these rules, you can understand the graphs of horizontal lines and vertical lines.